welcome back to Central News. We heard a little bit the other week from the creative Tauranga ladies about the amazing works of local artist Susan Harrison Tustain. Susan is all set for her exhibition tomorrow and Sunday. We caught up with her earlier in the week during her preparations. Susan, tell a bit about yourself and when you, when you began down this path of art and how you have become an internationally acclaimed artist. Well, I think I've always painted. When I, oh, before I even went to school, I remember Mum bought me some paint brushes and paints. We used to sit at the dining room table and have so much fun. She was great at drawing and she encouraged me. Um, also, too, um, quite early on, I remember there was a Wellington Sunday paper that had a, a little art competition for children, and I um, I painted. Um, a, a little scene. I, I couldn't find the colour that I wanted in watercolour so I added some oil paint to it and you'd imagine. To me it, it looked fine, sent it off and they must have thought it was a mixed media and really innovative but it was by accident but I won so that was that was just a lovely thing. Excellent and how have you become this internationally acclaimed artist? Well um, I started painting professionally about 20 years ago and there was a series of books called Splash, which are um, produced by a North American publisher, and they feature artists from all around the world. And so I um, sent a couple of paintings in for them to have a look at, in the hope that I might get two pages. Well, uh, one night, oh, it was about midnight, and we'd been out to a wine tasting, the telephone rang, and this um, lady, Rachel Wolf, was the editor, and I knew of her name because I knew of many of the books that she had edited. And this American voice on the end of the phone saying, "What's well, Rachel Wolf speaking?" And and she said, "No, what we're interested in is for you to write a book for us." <sighs> I tried to sound very professional, and I said, "Well, I'd have to look at the contract." <laughs> but um, yes, I had to sit down. It was quite overwhelming, and that really did open up a. a um, uh, well, I opened up the international market to me because the book ended up a bestseller and um, has been distributed worldwide, so it's been, it's been wonderful. That's fantastic, and I understand you have DVDs as well. Yes, yes, Richard and I do those ourselves, they're very professionally done. They are, um, we sell them ourselves directly to um, a lot of American retailers and, um, they, and they go all over the world. We've sold maybe 20 odd thousand of those and it's lovely every morning because we get quite an avalanche of emails from people who are learning from them and yeah, it's very rewarding. Excellent. Now I understand that the public have an opportunity to see your amazing artworks. Tell us about the exhibition on this weekend. Thank you, yes. Uh, well I only exhibit every four years so it's really quite rare that I exhibit and so I like to make it a very special occasion because People come from overseas and from all over New Zealand, so the exhibition itself um, is, um, there's 24 new pieces in the exhibition, and um, the paintings, um, I guess the flavour is predominantly New Zealand, but there are different, different um, inspirations from, from lots of different places that we've visited. There's, there's one that is an OFA, and I remember my husband and I, Richard, we walked down the street and uh, we came across the old drapery shop and the window was missing. One of the windows w was missing and I felt that compulsion to look inside and see what was, what was going on inside there. And there were broken floorboards and, um, and lots of detritus. But I thought, gosh, this, this is amazing. You know, I love that, that compulsion. And that's what my paintings are all about. It's, about feeling and emotion and things that, that drive us to, to um, put our own history into something. Well this one here, I was on dusk and there was bright orange sky coming through one window and that really led a path into the painting and drew the eye back almost as if it was drawing it back into the past. The other window on the other side, when we step back we can see the reflection of the old general store. So it was. What I wanted to paint, something that was different, something that was said about the pioneers and the people who, who developed that, that village. It's over past and present. Excellent. Now, because I understand that your paintings are more than just a subject or a person in it, but they have a special meaning. Why, why is it that your paintings have this added meaning? Well, I don't like to follow fads 
or trends. I, I like my paintings to endure, and I love the notion that you know people from generations to come will will enjoy them. And um, so I think that it's all about communication and communicating what what we feel about you know the places that we go to. And quite often my paintings are about. Um, objects, but the objects tell us more about the person who has used them or um, maybe an old window or an old door. Um, they tell us more about those sorts of things than often a portrait can. So although often about subjects, they are actually um, talking about the people. It's, it's about the fortitude of the pioneers and the um, endurance and the hope and the ingenuity. And just before we finish up, what do you want people to go away feeling after being at the exhibition over the weekend? Well, I love the notion that um, that the paintings might move some people. And it's like going to a movie, you know, you live that movie for a few days afterwards. I love that the paintings might might still remain in their thoughts long after they've left the pre their presence. So I want the exhibition to be a lovely weekend, something really special and you know, make it worthwhile travelling all the distances that they come to enjoy it. Excellent. Well, Susan, thank you so much for having us in your home today and all the best for the exhibition over the weekend. Thank you very much. If you are in the Tauranga area over the weekend and enjoy art appreciation, why not head to Millsroof Winery on Moffat Road to see Susan's meaningful masterpieces between 10 and 5, Saturday and Sunday. And if you want to have a sneak peek at her exhibition, visit susanart.com. Well, after the break, we have Kent with a little bit of a rugby roundup.